YouTube! What is up everybody, Doomwake here, welcome back to another Preordain Appreciation video. Played a little bit with Prowess last week, this list in particular is coming to us from the one and only uh, Danny Bambino on Twitter and Twitch. Go drop him a follow. This is very similar to what we played. The small change here is we cut Sprite Dragon for Dreadhorde Arcanist, and we trimmed on Vapor Snag, and we're going up to a couple Unholy Heats in the main deck instead of the extra Snag. And a couple of small differences in the sideboard. There's an additional cast into fire. We have explosives here. These weren't there before. And just a couple uh, small changes. And the other thing about the mana base here is for Spire Bluff Canal. I'm actually not sure that, the, weirdly enough, I, I actually think that Spire Bluff Canal is kind of bad in this deck because there's frequently spots where you want to cast two or three Lava Darts in the same turn. And if you have like two canals and a mountain, it's really hard to do that. So I'm a little skeptical of the canals, but I do like the Arcanist. I do like the Heats, and we will see how this goes. So the thing about Sprite Dragon is it's embarrassing against Bowmaster unless you have Metagenic Growth. And Arcanist is a lot more like it, you don't have to you don't have to risk casting Arcanist into two open mana if you don't have Metagenic Growth, and that's why I think I like it a lot better. It's weird to add a land and also cut the fiery outlets. I would think if you're adding mana, you'd want to keep the fiery outlets, but what is your pile? Played something very close to this deck, plus twenty dollars. L O T R Donkin Pile. Uh, I'm just I, I I saw like three cards and I'm already off it. I'm already off it. Definitely not pure modern legal, by the way. All right, get Jeffrey over here. What's the best sequencing with this? It's, I gotta get used to these heuristics of whether I should bobble first or preordain first. I mean, it's definitely preordain first, right? Because I'm looking for a creature no matter what. I guess I'll take both. And given that, I think we just save the bobbles. I might not even cast them on turn two. I might hold. Playing against burn? Hmm. Is it worth casting them for two damage? It's so it's nice to crack them now in case we find a mutagenic growth. I do have a skewer on top. Although I guess they would just upkeep a bolt if they had it. Okay, no mutagenic growth. Gotta dodge searing blaze here. Searing blaze would be tough. <clears throat> no blaze, no blaze, no blaze. Yeah, well not this turn if they have blaze. I think the untap and go Arcanist hold up snag is kind of nice. I'm not even sure I would do that, though. If they if they don't kill either of these, I'm probably just going to go Bolt, attack for four, play Arcanist, and not hold up snag. Tank, tank, blaze. Uh, and now I'm going to hold up the Bolt, though. Snag, I think. Yeah, I finally got first, B.O. Finally got first. It only took me three finals appearances to win an RCQ, but we did it, boys. I'll see you all in Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> one game in, I already hate Spire Bluff Canal. I hate it here. I want to leave. I no longer want to be here. Sure. You skewer me? Okay, can I kill them? It's going to be close. Three, six, nine. Am I fucking one damage short? I think I'm one damage short, right? Four, eight, twelve, fourteen. I mean, I guess we just 14 them and hope they play a creature, right? There's no reason not to do it. Like, maybe there's an argument for playing Preordain from the graveyard, but I don't think there is. Yeah, if they play a creature, they die. I shouldn't have six. All right, gonna one. They're probably just going to get double bolted or some shit. Well, third bolt's not even lethal if we hit it. Oh, it is, right, because we get the one damage from here and then cast bolt from hand. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Uh, play a creature. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, all right, claw coming in. Spell pierce coming in. <clears throat> I don't think I want explosives. 
think Snag is kind of mid. Arcanist, I feel like, is... Well, Breach is also slow. I, mm, you probably have to cut some of this stuff. Atlanta's going to be Pioneer. Yeah, maybe it is better to preordain because we could find Lava Dart. Lava Dart or Bolt. They have 2-2 two, two pro red. Mm, they simply just won't draw it. It's fine. I think I'm going to cut Breach. I don't know if that's right. They will simply not draw their core Firewalker or whatever the hell it is. The sand's busted. Absolutely busted. How's the Mono Green matchup with Rakdosak? I think it's very close. Prior to the Rakdos Sacrifice decks main deck and Thoughtseize, I think it was a heavy favorite for green, but now I think it's a lot closer. Thoughtseize really evens the matchup. It's been a while since they've started main decking Thoughtseize, but there was actually a period of time where the uh, the Sacrifice decks also didn't play, what you call it, Blood Tithe Harvester, believe it or not. I don't have the pro white guy, by the way, or pro red, because they played a basic mountain. Yeah, I think green is slightly ahead, but I don't think it's by a lot. My opponent said, what year is this Dragon's Claw gaming? <laughs> the same year that your burn gaming is. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? I'm just going to say 2023. Do I bolt their Swiss Spear or bolt them? I guess I bolt their Swiss Spear. I'm not going to shock, though. Now <laughs> the MCR playing in the background, too. On a green of 65% win rate against Rakdos. I don't know if it was that dis... I don't know if it was that much of a disparity. I feel like it's a lot closer than that. One, uh, five, nine, eleven, thirteen. Let's just, like, deal them a couple damage. I could pick up Gigantha, but let's just do this. And this way, if they draw a bolt, we can still just go bolt them plus dart them to save this. Properly respecting incredibly base burn. Okay, I'm going to save my thing. All right, expressive would be nice. Eh, not expressive. I mean, we can't really lose this game, right? I don't think we can. Ooh. They're going to give me a land, too? How nice of them. <laughs> yeah, famous last swords. I'm at 25, all right? I'm at 25. I don't know how they're killing me. Could have just taken two and then got another prowess trigger. Maybe that was better. Take two and then get a prowess trigger. Definitely would have been better since I drew the Swiss Spear. Axis of Mortality? I don't even know what that card does. <laughs> they scooped. <laughs> Think about Spire Bluff as you can manipulate your Can Link Count with Dart to make it come into play untapped. Yeah, but like, if you're doing that, it does make your Gigantha lines a lot worse. Now, to be fair, you're not Giganthing that often with this deck anyway, so it's probably fine. For Dub Dub, beginning of your upkeep, you may have two target players exchange life totals. Not very good in a burn deck. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Oh, it's not the PT invite yet, Jesse. We're getting there. It will be a PT invite come December, though. Shut up, Tomber. <clears throat> they burn themselves. So it's a, it, it, they just like Death Shadow. That's what happens. They just like Fetch Shock, Street Wraith, Dismember a bunch, and they just cast that on turn six. It's the ultimate Death Shadow Cyber Juke. Oh, please don't, Tomber. I'll never, I'll never, you'll never be able, uh, like, you'll never, for, I will, you'll never let me for, forgive that. I don't know the word that I'm looking for. I'm not very good with words. I don't know if you knew that. I'm not the best with words, but, uh, yep, words. Yep, words. I know. There's so many words. How am I supposed to keep track of all those? Nah, Metamorphosis is kind of bad into Bowmasters. At least with Priority, you just cast it on turn one before they Bowmaster you. Uh, no Dragon's Claw, but keep. This is this is what I was worried about, Danny. Double Spire, Bluff, Lava Dart. This is where it gets awkward. I don't think it is Tonber. Um, I'm gonna lead Soul Scar. Growth was definitely a good draw. If they kill Soul Scar, I might let it die. Yeah, I'm gonna let this go. 
I think I'd much rather protect Arcanest. This is, like, insanely bad if they play Eidolon, but Burn decks don't play Eidolon anymore, so it's fine. Is an Arcanist the bad breach? No, because it's a breach that blocks Ragavan. So it's just a different thing. You still have second Searing Blaze. Or you can have second Searing Blaze, just no land. Wow. I wonder if they had Eidolon and chose to hold up the Searing Blaze instead. Uh, okay, now what? It's not worth taking two to play the Swiss Spear first, right? There's no shot that's right. Is it worth holding up Spell Pierce? What if I just go Heat Attack? Maybe I can let them have one turn. Definitely not playing Swiss Spear first. That's not happening. I think I like this, though. I think we'll go here, Swift Spear, Attack, and then Metagenic Growth. Okay, they go to 12. I mean, we should be able to convert the Spell Beers at some point. Oh, you love to see that. Uh, awkward. Just, like, attack for two, play Soul Scar Mage. I'm trying to think of what's worst case scenario if we just tap out for Claw. They go, like, smash, untap, land, double burn spell. I think I'm going to play Soul Scar. Let's just go to combat. Yeah, I'm just going to go Soul Scar pass. If they cast Boros Charm, I kind of still want to counter it. <laughs> okay, I'm not countering that. That's fine. I'll just let them resolve two bolts. Yeah, whatever. I think the dart's lethal. Uh, okay. Also fine. I guess we have to find a mountain for the dart to be lethal. Bro, there's no shot. I'm going to lose because I have triple spire bluff, no mountain. There's no way, right? Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm currently short. I know it's free, but it's still not enough. Because it's three, six, seven, eight, nine. They get a one. Oh, I can pierce my own dart. Right, I can just pierce my own dart, right? And that's lethal. Oh, no, but then I... Yeah, no, that's, that still works. That still works. Yeah. Or no, if they cast a spell now, I just go pierce, untap, land, claw, dart, flashback. That's enough, right? Yeah, this should, this should still be enough, right? Claw, dart, flashback. That's 4, 8, 9, 11. Yeah, that should be enough. I can flashback... I'm saying flashback dart with the Arcanist and not a mountain. Okay, I'll draw a mountain anyway, so it didn't matter, but... Now it's like Omega Lethal. I'm also sequencing out of... I, I miss sequencing just so I can BM them. <laughs> miss sequencing just so I can BM them. Uh. <laughs> uh, Alright, take a million. Sick. Cool. Moon... But against Tron specifically, the Handshake Tron list are actually really good at fighting through a Blood Moon. So against Handshake Tron specifically, I think you're much better off having Charma. Then it also depends, like, if your deck is aggressive, do you care about the 4-4 body? There's a lot of questions you have to ask. I did see that, Parathian. I want to spend a little bit more time on the Arcanist As Foretold deck. That deck is so sick. Mm, grief scam. What color you want, Jimmy? Ooh, Ipple Grief. Purple. I don't really have a good purple. It's like, honestly, the best you're probably going to get. Oh, cool. Grief. Sick. Can we get some uh, bat chest in the... Bat! I love grief. Bat! Bat! I'm favored versus scam? That can't be true. I don't see how that's true. Really? Chat, you're not spamming the emote. Come on, chat, you're killing me over here. Twitch chat spamming a single emote. Challenge level impossible. Um, Four cards. Kind of want a Swiss Spear. I'm not going to cast the growth, though. they do sometimes go low, but my opponent didn't take a single point of damage in their first turn. I don't know if that's always true. She don't care about Voidwalker. If they cast Voidwalker, I'm like, who cares? 
totally fine with that. Or be able to like terminate here or something. Uh, I guess I'll preordain first. Because if I fetch basic mountain before preordaining and hit another preordain, it's awkward. But I like a third Swiss spear. Kind of want both. I mean, if they had Furious Scam, they would have done it last turn. This is the punish, right? Because if I take the Swiss spear, I have to fetch away the growth. I think that's fine. I want the Swiss spear bad enough. I'll just get basic mountain. Attack them for five, hold the growth. And we have to assume we're getting terminated here. I'd be shocked if they didn't have terminate. All right. I guess that makes sense. Sure. No, that doesn't make sense. Why didn't they do that in response to the preordain? Weird. I mean, there's no reason to cast the growth. I don't think. <clears throat> Six. They're holding back the Bowmaster and the token. I am extremely confused. That means they probably have a scam spell. Well, attacking is pretty bad in the scam spell, so I'm just gonna pass. I might, like, quintuple block the grief next turn, maybe. Maybe I missequenced a little bit this game. Okay, now they have terminate. I wonder if they had terminate last turn. I just chose not to cast it. Might have. I mean, it's like block here and take five, die to bolt. I don't usually have bolt main deck. I mean, if I tr if I try to triple block grief and they have a scam spell, I lose two creatures and I can't possibly win. All in front of grief. I mean, I, I just lose the game if they have an undying evil. If I just block token and their hand is two undying evils, then you know what I mean. It doesn't do anything. Double block the token. Oh, in case they have second bowmaster. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll buy that. <laughs> it's up to Mora. All right, bolt me. On! <laughs> Spells, please! Uh, can I attack with anything? I guess if I'm playing around... Mm, oh, just pass. Can't beat much. I, in fact, can't beat anything. Cannot beat a single magic card. Alright, cool. <laughs> Sick. Okay, against Scam... Kind of maybe want Lantern. I don't really have a lot that's good in this matchup, right? Just Lantern Stag. Is that it? I don't really have anything that's bad. Lava Dart's probably my weakest card. But it is good against uh, Bowmaster. Mm. Yeah, they probably have Chalice, right? <clears throat> probably have Chalice. You want to cut Darcy? Just because it's bad against Bowmaster? Mm. I don't know if I can afford to cut Threats in this matchup. What's the Legacy deck? Uh, High Tide. Yeah, I guess that's maybe a good point, P-Sams. Like, if they have Stone Cold nothing, it'd be triple block, like, quad block the Grief, maybe we can win. Could, like, trim a couple. Yeah, they probably have Chalice, right? I should bring in these. Maybe we just don't worry about this stuff. Or we can, like, trim a Lava Dart for a second snag. It's better if they, like, turn one scam us. I think Lantern is two. Two Bobble plus two Soul Guide. Oh, you trim on Bobble. Okay, I can see that. Try that. Because Bobble's also not that great against um against Bowmaster. I'll buy that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I'm just gonna go I wonder if I hold the bobble with this hand. I'm definitely playing Lantern on one. Yeah, I guess you, you can't afford the trimmer breach. It's just you have to keep all of your good top decks because your hand frequently gets shredded. Definitely Lantern on one. The question is, do we bobble? I guess we can play it and cycle upkeep. It's probably okay, because I, I do want to find a creature. Nice Groxa. Brittany! Brittany, thank you for the three months. Hope you're doing well. Creature. Uh, we don't need to fetch first, because I can just play a Steam that's tapped. Could keep this to play around Chalice. Hmm, what if I top the... What if I draw the growth, keep this on top, play the fetch? If they don't play Chalice, then I can fetch this away. You're not worried about them having a Chalice? Maybe you just don't care. I don't know. I, th I think I'm going to play around Chalice. Maybe I shouldn't, but... <clears throat> Maybe I'm playing too scared. Does it look that purple? 
when I'm looking at it, it doesn't look the most purple. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think we saved the fetch land. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. And then I'm going to leave the chalice in play for their turns. So they can't thoughts ease me, then do this end of turn untap expressive. I'm going to keep this in play. I could pop it, but we know they have Kroxa, so. It's fine to hang on to it. That's an absurd top deck. I mean, later down the road, but. And bottom exile. This is probably going to get fatal pushed. Uh, play the Bloodstained Mire so I can just thin the deck and get more cards in the graveyard for Breach. Uh, sure. I mean, I guess if they block, I'll growth. It is worth saving, I think. But I think Saga is poorly positioned right now. Mm, no. I mean, there's plenty of good Saga decks. Like, the Jun Saga deck's been tearing it up. Amulet's good. There's plenty of good Saga decks. I think it's just, like, Hammer specifically, because it... The reason I think Hammer is doing so poorly is because it only really attacks on one axis, and a lot of the Saga decks have ways to, like, ways to get around that that don't necessarily involve going through the combat phase, if that makes sense. You know? They're more of a dynamic Urza Saga deck. Really? Why are we doing this? Did they just, like, forget about the Lantern? I mean, sure. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I guess the Kroxa was dead anyways. Sure. That's totally fine. Now I could just go... Oh, no, they took the Breach. Yeah, yeah, They trade the Scam for the Lantern. Yeah, but they're also down a Kroxa. They're down a lot more than just the Scam spell. But I, I guess the Kroxa didn't do anything versus the, uh, the Lantern anyway, so I guess that's fair. Kind of just want to pick up... Uh... Maybe I shouldn't have cast this. If I just go, like, <laughs> hand, bottom, exile, beat a chin growth, pick up Gigantha, is that bad? Next turn we can go land six, preordain Gigantha. I guess I need the bolt and the preordain. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, so hand, bottom, exile. Poor Gigantha. Poor Gigantha. It's all right. Gigantha will get some love next turn. Oh sevens for Gigantha. No point in keeping the growth because they have this anyways. I will keep the preordain though for sure. <clears throat> Get jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it. Dun, dun, dun. But atop the snag. Why do you want to keep snag? Oh, in case they have Fury Scam. I guess that's fair. They have another chalice. It's not great. Well. <sighs> This is kind of an awkward position that we have seemed to found ourselves in. Maybe they'll cast Thoughtseize. No, no, I, I played RCQs all weekend. I didn't have time to watch any of the tournament coverage. There's a lot, though. I think I'm going to save that for next turn and just play Gigantha. Given that they cannot bot seize me and they do not have red mana for terminate. This is bad if they have grief. RC's in December. Rude. Alright. Breach or cast into fire. Uh oh. Chat, this is not looking great for us. We have two outs to this chalice. Breach or cast into fire. I'm not dead yet. Yeah, I guess we have Arcanist too. But what does Arcanist even do? It flashes back cards to get countered, right? Arcanist does nothing. <laughs> Deals one damage, sure, yeah, that's fair. They didn't play their third lane until like turn nine. I mean, the good news is, if we draw Cast into Fire or Breach, they're dead. But we have to do that very quickly, given that they're going to cast a Fury and not give us a lot of time. 
All right, breach, 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 breach. It's not breach. <clears throat> I mean, I'm the one choosing to play this deck, Tonber, you know? Like, I'm, I'm choosing to play a deck that is weak to Chalice. I don't necessarily think that's, you know, I don't think that's Modern's fault. This is just the deck that I've chosen to play. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, pl they played one Chalice, I killed it. They just had a second one. Right? Like, this deck can usually find an answer for the first one. It's just the second one that kills you. Unforge. Ugh. I do have Bobble Fetch Land. I'm gonna keep... I don't love hands like this. Like, no cantrip, no creature. I think it's close. Scene December is in Lana, and it's Pioneer. I do kind of want to try the White Splash. Worlds this next month? Uh, I think so. When exactly is Worlds? I remember Dom saying that he was, like, testing for it, but I don't know exactly when it was. I don't think it's too far away. Thanks, TP. I think I am going to cycle this now. Greased. September 21st. Okay, so, like, about a month. Close enough to a month. Atlanta's in December. It's a good draw. I'm gonna book my flight soon. I was looking at flights last night. I think it was like 225 for round trip, which is not bad. I'll take that all day. Okay, we know they have grist. So let's just go. Montagna. Uh there's no reason to bolt now, right? Yeah, there's no reason to bolt now. Maybe it was fine to play Soulscar, and if they go Gris minus, they lose their Lotus. I'm okay with that. Thanks, Vinny. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Definitely going to be hanging with Vinny in Atlanta. You'd love to see it. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. Surely they won't just minus here, right? There's just no way. Okay. Oh, do we want to use our mana? I think it's probably best to Vapor Snag the token end of turn. We could save Lava Dart. If we flip Channeler, we can just go attack Grist and Lava Dart it. Um, pretty likely to hit a land off this, right? Skipping Atlanta. Are you qualified? I guess you can just, like, move your invite. 15 land Naya Zoo deck. You got 15th at MXP Tacoma. The Spear, Ragavan, Wayward Guide Beast? Bruh. This deck is this deck is based. 15 lands. Mod check at Tarkus Commands? I don't see any Tarkus Commands. Where are they at? Alright, land please. Top. Guess I shouldn't have topped, huh? Uh hand bottom exile. So I shouldn't have topped, huh? Reason to bolt now. Attack Greased. Wait, could I just kill them? I maybe should have just like attacked them. I didn't really do the math. <laughs> I probably should have attacked them. There are 12. 3, 5, 7, 10, 11. Mm. Ah, that's graveyard it. It's just so bad if they kill the kill the channeler. Like we're if they don't kill channeler, we're probably winning anyways. <clears throat> Check out the sack list that won the trios. Was it just Theos? It's the exact list that I won uh, the RCQ with. I, I didn't. I I copied Theos list. I think I changed. I think I changed like two cards. Oh wait, wasn't it you the one who posted with Archfiends because you couldn't get the you couldn't get the bait hook maskers and you played Archfiends instead? I think that was you. Doing a upkeep in case I find a breach. I might even love it at them upkeep. Kind of spewing a lot here. Eh. If I dart, they go to eight, and then I have five. So I'd have to find a breach or a bolt. Uh, I think it's worth it. I'm glad I graveyarded two lands. 
Okay, it's not lethal, but it's still pretty good. Because now it's going to be really hard for them to kill us. Fetch the seven. Oh no, the gingerbread cabin. <laughs> Wait, now they can just die, right? Three, four, five. Oh no, 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 they can't die, they can't die. Sam Chatterfang. Two cards in hand. I probably should kill Chatterfang. Right? We're not dead. I can kill Chatterfang right now. I think I have to. How many lands in a row is that? Six? Because I iteration into three lands, then three surveils hit three lands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least one. <laughs> at least one. Confirmed. Go. God damn, dude. Uh, sure. They don't have a sack outlet, though. They don't currently have a sack outlet. Well, they found a sack outlet. All right, Mewen. They're casting cord. Lantern. I don't think I want explosives. Uh, I think all this other stuff is pretty bad. Maybe like two growth for two lantern. Call it a day. Cast into fire is mid. I don't think I want explosives. Snag is maybe okay. Snag's probably better than growth. Buy that. Get someone explain opponent's combo. Samwise plus sack outlet plus cauldron familiar. So you sacrifice the cat with a food in play. Uh, sacrifice the food, bring back the cat, cat trigger Sam, make a food, sacrifice the cat to the psych outlet, rinse, repeat. I had, I had 16 initially. I think with four period and you really can, you can easily get away with 16. You could honestly maybe even play 15. Investigate guy is part of a different combo. So that combo I believe is Chatterfang Lonus plus, I think it's what Chatterfang Lonus plus Sam plus cat. It's like a four card combo, but it's, it's part of a different combo. Yeah, if you cut all the canals, like, I think the initial mana base that I had was minus four canal plus a fetch, a fourth steam vents, and two fiery islet, and I had 17, and that felt pretty good. <laughs> sometimes, Tiger, yeah, sometimes. Yes. Jeffrey! That's good. <laughs> yeah, Dragon's Claw at the sideboard? What year is it? But seriously, what year is it? Uh, actually, it's uh, 2023. 1963. Confirmed 1963. Woosa, thank you for the prime sub. Let's go by the graveyard. Hmm. Thoughts on second Lava Dart? I feel like it's pretty good. Good? I don't know. It's close. I think I really have enough to kill them next turn, though. So let's do some math here. They take two now, because I don't cast the Lava Dart here, given that I know the Lava Dart's on top, but I don't want to surveil it. So I go attack for two, they go to 18. Next turn, assuming nothing happens, let's assume they just go like land pass. We have uh, Delirium would be three, four, and then it's eight, right? Three, four, and then two, four, six, eight. It's only 12. It's not even close. How's Arcanist performing? I don't know. I've, I've drawn it once so far. It's been okay. I don't want to fetch it away. I think, I think I'm going to fetch it away. I think we can... Like, any cantrip is so much better. It's also a type that we already have. Just finding a sorcery would be nice. Because then we could turn this on. What about pure legacy? I haven't thought about that. That could be interesting, though. Soul Scar Mage. Huh, I think I think that's better than the second dart. It's close. You did across me, I'd be in the same boat. <laughs> yep, boat. Yep, boat. Samuel. Uh, let's upkeep the heat. Gonna say it's worse if you find exactly that card. Um, maybe YOLO and trying to hit a bobble. You can hit. I cut all the growths, right? 
So it has to be exactly bobble. Let's just not do that. Let's just not do that. They're probably dead next turn. Legacy would be way too hard to brew for. Oh, for sure. Yeah, there's so many sets that have affected Legacy. Like, no Commander, no Conspiracy, no Transformers, no Unfinity. There's, like, there is... Legacy is much more infested... I guess maybe that's not the right word to use, but there, there are, it has the supplemental sets have a much bigger impact on Legacy than they do Modern, just because of the sheer number of them that are legal. Yeah, that's fine. I accept. Yeah, it's just a part of the format. All right, I'm going to get greedy and try and find a land. I wonder if they have Endurance. I think they have Endurance. They're not F6-ing. I think even if they have Endurance, they're still dead. Because I, I can just dart this thing three times. And Endurance doesn't beat the Browse creatures. So yeah, this line beats Endurance. Cool. Game three. I don't think I want growths. Yeah, I think this is fine. <clears throat> Do you want a Blazing Shoal some peeps? It's kind of funny. Blazing. I, I don't even think Blazing Shoal would be good in current modern. It's just the worst version of Hammer. The reason that Blazing Shoal was so busted back in the day is because of the, the blue cantrips. Like, you have to realize that was a deck that got to play four probe, four best step, four ponder, four preordain. That deck wasn't broken because of Blazing Shoal. It was broken because of those cards. And you could play anything you wanted to that had that those 16 and it wouldn't matter. Sans busted. 16. Well, Misstep's not a cantrip, but... Misstep is a broken card. <laughs> it's just not a cantrip. That's on not killing this Gilded Goose. It's a one-shot anyways, right? Dicey if they play a Grist. Kind of dicey if they have Grist. There's like a lot of different ways to play this hand. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go Bolt. And then pass. Save the bobble for next turn. And then next turn we can go Swift Spear, Channeler, Bobble, get a damage and a Surveil. What's up, Moose? A little bit worried about them going Land Academy Manufacturer. But in order for me to kill Manufacturer, I'd have to double Dart, which I don't really... can't. I can't afford to do that anyway, so... Let's just go Mountain... Yeah, let's go Swiss Spear, Channeler, Bobble. Um, I, I do want a third land. Well, fuck me, huh? That's really bad. It's about as bad as it gets. They don't have a third land? You have to find a Bolt or a Heat very, very badly. At least they take two. There is that. I can't imagine them doing anything but casting Manufacture here. I play Grist instead? I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, three cards in hand. No Goose would be nice. Okay, looks like no Goose. That's interesting. Not really, right? Do they die if they don't block just with two darts? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It is exactly lethal. But the the problem is, if I go to attacks, they're just going to block the channeler. Which I guess is fine, assuming I can hit Delirium. I did do the thing. They definitely block if I just attack, right? I think I'm going to cast Expressive. It's close. <laughs> now I'm going to win an Edison tournament? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also not guaranteed that we hit Delirium. I mean, we have four Surveils, so we're very likely to hit Delirium, but it's not a guarantee. <clears throat> that is not good. Not good, not good. Let's go to combat. Well, I think we can do that anyways. Like, even if we're forced into a position where we have to cast Dart, I can at least kill the Lonus. And, like, now, if they block Manufacture, if they put this here, I can just go dart this twice and they lose both. I just like that the Expressive guarantees us Delirium. We're not 100% to hit. How is the Pia deck not got at the spot of the Goldfish Pioneer page? Isn't it just labeled something different? I think it's just labeled something different. Uh... 
Where the hell is it? Enough people have played it. Did I miss it? They like just do they lump it in with the other Boros decks? Is it lumped in with Boros Aggro? Boros Heroic, Boros Aggro. I don't know. Weird. It's just white red. Is it? Where is W? I don't see W R. Am I blind? Huh, strange. I didn't even know that. I didn't notice that. They did not block. Three, five, seven, nine. Did they just shoot the Lotus now? Probably. Probably keep that. Keep that, try and find some gas next turn. I mean, I'm under the assumption that we're going to die next turn, but if we don't, then we probably want that. Also, if we don't die, then they're probably going to die. Mm. Oh, okay, sure. Right. There's timing restrictions, so they can't cast that. Oh, it only hits permanence. Okay, well, I guess that's a good reason to keep that on top and not give them access to, like, give them a shot at a channeler. Because if I graveyard that, graveyard the next, and they find a creature, it's not great for me. I thought it was cast, but yeah, it's only put it into play. Only if it's a permanent. That can't be good. Okay. I mean, as far as I'm aware, not technically dead in white. Okay. But now they have no mana. Is their last card cord? Oh, if their last card's cord, I think we're dead. But I can't beat cord anyways. Oh, I needed the upkeep dart. Yeah, I just didn't have an upkeep stop. Well, show me the cord. Yeah, I, need, I needed to have an upkeep stop. They really don't have the cord? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. That was kind of weird. <laughs> Sick. I just kind of assumed they had it. I guess if they had cord, they would have just main phased it. Yeah, good enough for me. Can go Spire Bluff, Channeler, Bobble. Try to find a second creature. I'm very upset that they have a Jade Avenger avatar, but they don't have a Doomwake Giant avatar. You ever think about that? I lose sleep over that stuff. Fatal push. More scam. Oh, not scam. Hell is oh, mill? Are we milling? Mm. All right, mill me. Mill yourself now. Trap me, do it. You won't. It was a pioneer idol in shell. Pioneer. Played Rakdos Sacrifice. I feel like blue black control would not want to play Dark Slick Shores, but apparently they do. We cannot afford to bottom a creature here. Just gonna get fatal pushed, but Jesus Christ! Try three fatal pushes, my brother in Christ. Can you not? Three fatal pushes, by the way. Ah, damn! I actually can't. What the hell is this? This Demir scam? My brother in Christ. It's Demir, the actual Demir scam. Uh. Let's just pick up Jeffrey. I don't expect this to live anyways. I'd rather hold this until I find a cantrip. Yeah, no way they have fourth bush. Not possible. So what are you gonna do? Mm, I guess we can cast now. And then I guess if they kill it, we can fire off some stuff in response. Okay. I mean, they only have three cards. You gotta prepare. Prepare, prepare, prepare. What in... What the hell is this? Sure, I guess? Yeah, okay. Cool. Dart that. What are they playing? So confused. Where can I find the Johnny? But I actually don't know where I got these from, because my friend gave them to me a while ago. I don't know... Well, I don't know where he got them from. 
but they, my friend gave this gave these to me as a gift a while back. Blue black fairies, no shot. Absolutely no shot. Probably maybe find them online somewhere. I'm not a hundred percent positive. Okay, let's go channeler expressive. Worse into Pierce, I guess. Maybe you're at that against blue black. Um and bottom exile. I want to hold up Dart this turn, because they're gonna cast this. And then we can slam Gigant the next turn. I have two cards. Okay, resolves, still on the turn. Do this. Graveyard. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing over there. I think you've won. <laughs> That's my channeler. Yeah, you got it. I accept. I accept. No Pia Avatar? I figured that would be one of the Hallmark cards in the previous set. And they would have an avatar for that. Okay, that's a card we can lose to. That is a card that we can lose to. I mean, we have Heat, so probably not. So... I mean, the Giga Chad thing to do is go Heat, Sack, Land, play Gigantha. So let's do that. I'm not even convinced this is better than just playing the Channeler, but that's fine. I really want to cast Gigantha this turn. Infernal Grasp. Alright, they have no cards in hand. Surely they're not going to draw a ring this turn, right? Surely they're not going to draw a ring this turn. That would be unfair. Why are they main phasing this? Sure. So we can go Channeler, Bolt the Voidwalker, Dart the Borrower. I'll top that. I guess to get max value, I should preordain first. Because I know I'm keeping the preordain anyways. Um, I guess I'm losing a little bit of scry value here. But I'll just keep the expressive on top. It's fine. We can't lose this game. <laughs> well, they're not even F6, though, is the thing. You got it, Chief. <laughs> You got it, Chief. Uh, I guess we can just express it first. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. So, hand, bottom, exile. Bolt the Voidwalker. Graveyard the Mountain. Actually, do I have fetchables left? I don't know if I should have graveyarded the mountain. I don't know if I have fetchables left. Oh, I have two. I don't. I don't. I don't have any steam vents left. I do want to find a second creature. Uh, I'll just top both. Nice little scar. Next turn, they are extremely dead. Extremely dead. Could have a counter spell for this, I guess. I did draw a counter spell, so I guess we still play. We play on. We play on. Uh, let's take a look at what they're drawing first. They're drawing a Dothy Voidwalker. Uh, I'll just start them now. Okay, now they're dead. So they go to six, then we draw a bolt and we kill them. And they're drawing a brick. We did it. It's a very interesting looking blue-black deck. Interesting looking blue-black deck. Huh. All right. Well, what are we on a board against this? I mean, I know Mutagenic, or, Mutagenic is not good against non-red decks for the most part. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to be nice, all right? <laughs> uh, let's bring in, like, Spell Pierce? They they gotta have rings. You can bring in one cast into fire, and then, like, a Miser's Blood. No, I'm gonna bring in, you know, whatever. They didn't show us ring. I'll just bring in these for Merktide. 
I guess Vapor Snag is probably better against Murktide than Soul Guide, right? Three Vapor Snag is kind of a lot. Yeah, that's a good point, Snook. They didn't show us a lot of basics. We could do like one second Snag, one Blood Moon. Let's try that. I don't want a ton of Snags. It's really only good against Murktide. Yeah, but we have two heats too. <clears throat> kind of want to play a third heat. D Lev with a song request. And you'll have wept and soft wept. The song is my entire childhood. D Lev, thank you very much for the nine months. I'm very upset. I mean, you know, as upset as I can be after winning an RCQ, I missed the concert last night. I was planning, if I had bricked the RCQ, I was planning on going to the concert. But unfortunately, didn't get to go. If you put them on moon, should be a hedge with one cast into fire. Uh, you mean ring? Because we can't. Cast into fire does nothing against moon. I'm assuming you're talking about ring, but. I mean, they didn't show us ring that game. We keep this. <laughs> All good. I don't know, they didn't play it. If they show it to us this game, it'll be good to game three. I'll bring in one copy. But they saw they saw a lot of cards and didn't play one. And it's a card that if they had it, they'd play four, you know. Let's spell Pierce Adolfi anyway, so I'm just gonna cast this. Alright, bottom, top. So that means they have fatal push. How do you request a song, please? With channel points, Jim. Channel points or five dollars or one gifted sub. Think I'm just gonna go Soul Scar Pass and pierce their fatal push. Is it worth fighting over this? Because we know they have fatal push, right? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna let this go and pierce their four drop. Hopefully, definitely don't want either of those. That's a good one to hold up pierce for. Although they can go land three and then pay for it. <laughs> I gotta keep up the the good the good guy appearances, right? Uh, let's just thin the deck a little bit. I'm gonna play Arcanist. It's gonna get Fatal Push. I'm gonna be sad. They counterspell. Do I fight? This does not sound like a D Live requested song. <laughs> At least the beginning of it. Who are you, and what have you done with D Live? That's a banger. I will fight over this if they have a counterspell. Don't mind having a big fight here because that means this might resolve later on. Awkward. I mean, I guess it's not bad. I got, I got punished for using the fetch land. Dispute on top. They didn't play in land last turn, so they're going to miss another land drop. That's nice. That's a lot of lands. Okay. Uh, not great. Is it Gigantha time? I think it is. Cool. Maybe I should be main phase bobbling, looking for a spell pierce aggressively. In case they have land four ring. <clears throat> Should have darted on, on their turn, but or on my turn. Whatever, it's fine. I'll just dart now. If they counter dart, I really don't care. <laughs> I would pay them any amount of money to counter this. I can't believe they kept in Brazen Barter against the Lava Dart. I guess they kind of need it to be able to like bounce a big browse creature. Do I want that? There's a lot of better cards, but it is really nice with the breach. Can't really tap out for a Gigantha because we know they have Disputed Hand. Hmm. That one's tough. It's close. <sighs> two. <clears throat> and then one, two, three, four, five. We can cast Bolt five times. Do we have enough cards in the graveyard? I mean, we're, we're so likely to find a Bolt at some point. I don't really want a Bolt right now. I want a Bolt in like two turns when I go for Breach. I won the RCQ with Racto Sacrifice. Okay, that's good, because we can play around Dispute with the Arcanist. Uh, let's see what they're drawing. That's an issue. Although, not really, because if they cast that, we can resolve Breach. Kind of wishing I kept that bolt now. Yeah, Atlanta RC is Pioneer. Oh, 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 fan me down. That's a banger.
what they pitch pitch group okay so that's bad because now they're gonna take the breach i mean if they have a scam spell we're just toast right they take snag scam take breach play murktide i mean can't possibly win i guess that's not true because we can attack with arcanist flashback snag bounce murktide okay <clears throat> have like push or something okay that's fine and I know they have disputes, so I'm not going to Vapor Snag now. Uh, well, I guess I'll do it now. Hey, I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay. I guess they're just planning on recasting it. Is that what's going on? Uh, keeps me off Gigantha too, I guess. Okay, combat. Let's keep me off Gigantha, so it's not like... It's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's preordain. Yeah, they knew my entire hand. I guess they didn't know about this one card. I will keep both of those. And then I can go iteration, exile the Swiss Spear, play land from hand, play Swiss Spear. This I could also just play the Soul Scar and save that for next turn. Uh, hand, bottom, exile. Go. Maybe keeping the bolt over the preordain's bad. Because I lost the breach to the grief. They gotta have ring, right? It's like the only thing that would kind of make sense. They have to have ring here. Oh, well, I don't give a shit about that. That doesn't matter at all. So we know they have Murktide X. I mean, you know. <laughs> you know, it's it's fine. <laughs> Uh, Magic is uh, an easy game, as the kids say. It is an easy game. I would like to bolt you a trillion times. As many times as I am allowed to bolt you. It's even technically correct to dart first. We love technically correct. Even get the flashback, the bolt off the Arcanist. <laughs> That's just good value. <laughs> oh, man. All right, start a prediction. Three, four, one prediction. Get it twisted. Chat, it is time to get it twisted. I repeat, it is time to get it twisted. Definitely a keep. I'm actually putting back Breach. It's a good card, but not good in your opening hands. <laughs> You have the unreadable ones? No, no, these are like $30. I bought shitty commander ones for like a buck fifty. I wanted to buy these, but they're too expensive. See, this is like, oh man, this is like, this is the hardest preordain ever. These are the ones that I don't know what to do because I don't have a threat, but I kind of want the land and the expressive. The problem with topping both is I'm a lock to do nothing next turn. So I think it might just be better to bottom the land and keep the expressive and just try to YOLO on turn three. Because if there's a creature underneath, it's so much better for me to play a creature next turn and then expressive on three. Like that, see? This works out so much better for me. I mean, I have the, you know, there is the chance that I miss on land, but... Spara's Headquarters. Swamp. Oh, Reanimator. Okay. Get to trade this metagenic growth, which was not guaranteed the trade for a card. Uh, definitely gonna growth. That's a graveyard that. Okay, resolve that. And then I guess we bolt end of turn. We don't even have to bolt, right? <coughs> we even bolt? No, I think we hold. That's the punish. Yeah, I, I cannot agree to I cannot afford to bottom that. Um so this is type four. Let's go hand, bottom, exile. I guess we bolt now. Then we can pre or double pre in next turn. 
Oh, wait, is this not Delirium? Oh, fuck, it's only instant sorcery land. Oh, no. I thought I had Delirium. Well, uh, that's bad. <laughs> I thought I had Delirium. Mm. Please don't have Psychic Bowmaster. It's okay, they just won't have another one. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just play Fable. Deal. I accept. Ooh, that's good too. And I'm probably going to snag the Shaman token. Graveyard. My brother in Christ. Okay, I've not played a land this turn, right? No, so we'll go top, top. Play Tarn, Preordain, get rid of the Swift Spear. So we can finally have Delirium. And then in response to Preordain, because I'm going to fetch anyways. Ooh, I will top that. Um, Is there any reason to Vapor Snag this now? Uh, I guess I'd rather have them not have the information that I had the snag. All right, go. And Spike was wildly predatory. I mean, somebody probably just bought them all out. Yeah, that's an issue. It is, in fact, an issue. Do we vapor snag the Atraxa now? Because I give them, t I give them ten more looks at finding Ephemerate if I don't do it now. And even if they Ephemerate, I could just go breach flashback snag. I think I have to do it now. Because otherwise they just gain seven life. And even if they if they ephemerate, they don't gain the life. I probably should have kept that land. Okay, so we have to hope they don't find a grief. I mean they're pretty likely to find a grief in 20 cards. Yeah, we're dead. Oh boy. That's bad. Yeah, we're dead. <clears throat> dead, dead, dead. Fable indulgence grief flats. Maybe they won't cast Grief for no reason. Guess we could draw out the Breach. We only have one more, though. Yeah, we're only playing two Breach, though. It's not the most likely thing to happen. I don't know if I mentioned today, chat, but seriously, this right here, huge thank you. Today has been absurd with the amount of support we've had. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you, thank you. Wouldn't be here without you guys. Joel's in the chat right now. Joel's, Joel's, Joel's. Let's save another Bowmaster. Oh, they're just going to Binding, okay. I mean, they're definitely going to cast the Grief, right? No, I'm going to try and play one more League. I'll try, I'm, I wanted to play some Legacy. I guess this League's not over yet. I did want to try and play the uh, Legacy High Tide deck. All right, Breach off the top. Not even sure it's good enough. Breach. Oh, I should have upkeep Lava Darted. Okay, wouldn't have mattered. Okay, Gorios, huh? Let's bring in more snags, more... More of those. Cut all the growths, I think. I mean, I guess growth is good against Bowmaster. But these reanimator decks typically only play, like, one or two Bowmasters. And I think everything else is pretty good. I guess Heat's kind of mid, because it doesn't kill Atraxa. Yeah, maybe I want Blood Moon, too. Could shave like a lava dart for a blood moon. And maybe Arcanist seems kind of no, I guess Arcanist is fine. Maybe another lava dart and play one growth. That's like the Bowmaster Mize. It's probably okay. Play first. Jeffrey. Not gonna do it. I'm in. I think I shipped the snag, right? Yeah. Maybe shipping second creature was better. Sees me? There's manic ending. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's unfortunate. I'm supposed to play into it. There's no way, right? There's no way I'm playing into it. I mean, I guess I'll bottom both. Okay, I guess that's fine. Thank you, Maverick. I appreciate that. My deck is only one drops. Hey, 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 hey. I got two Arcanists, all right? I have a Blood Moon in my hand. That's rude. 
Did they take Snag, Ephemerate, take Blood Moon, and I can't possibly win? Not anymore. I had a Blood Moon in my hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. Grief is so much fun. Like, I, you know, I just, I really, really love playing against Grief. It's, it's just so much fun. I just love Grief. All right, you win. <laughs> I quit, you win. The, the seventh one drop off the top is just too much for me at that point. All right. Three and two, deck felt pretty good. I do kind of want to try a white splash at some point. The Arcanist was okay. I could take it or leave it. Maybe this should be like a one of. Um, kind of want to go like minus a heat plus a snag. And then play white in the board for prismatic ending is a slightly better answer to chalice. Although it's not as good as uh, against the ring, which casting the fire is good against. But yeah, maybe some, uh, some things to consider there. But like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's try and breeze through a Legacy League, shall we? You guys want to play some Legacy?